you subscribe to the channel for more daily uploads? And you followed me on Twitch? Who do you think you are? This is oddly close to Insane Goon. It's a little bit better. Stormhaver combo 9 ode. That's very impressive. I know it's not easy. Maybe we'll play that tomorrow. Sounds kind of fun. Don't run in six, mate. Oh, uh... Playing X ones in modern. It was uh, LEC Athens, I believe. It's a Pioneer Tournament from this morning. That third hierarch that I'm glad I didn't draw. I'm just casting. Not at the Reliquary. I think my opponent's playing four color, which is the ultimate value town. This is the ultimate value. How do you win with this deck in a random six format? Yeah, they're in value utopia. Would you miss my mana dorks getting pinged? It's simple, Dingo. You just don't. You don't win. You lose. It's all there, black and white, clear as crystal. It's all there, white and green, white and green, clear as crystal. You lose. You get nothing. No, I don't think that's being a hater. I think you're right. Like, Birds of Paradise, Noble Hierarch, Ignoble Hierarch are all pretty unplayable in a run in 6 format. Maybe what I open my collector boosters. Yeah, just don't play against Ren. Simple. It's trivial, really. Octopent. Thank you so much for giving a sub to Lordes. Lordes. Enjoy the ad free world. Tell that to DT. All I'm saying is that DT isn't playing modern anymore for a reason right now. <laughs> I'm just kidding. It's too harsh. Too harsh. Too much roasting. Can't do my boy like that. DT's playing as Jabor. There's a feature mass of the century, and I'm not watching it. He's just playing straight four color. What land could I even get? Probably nothing helpful. Blast zone. Rising canopy. None of these seem particularly helpful. There's that Gavany Township. Let me cast my card that's good for them. Better for them than for me. That's a pretty good nose job. What is that? Oh, South Park. Finding that. And on tire. I give up. I don't think our singleton knight of the relic is going to get there. Just a hunch. I guess Jermokas command is pretty decent. Yeah, we even had collected company. 
probably a reason not to draw a card of the Horizon Canopy there. Yeah, DZ's moved on to Arena. Same with Wafo. We would have dropped the League after the first Hierarch got pinged. I thought about it. Decided not to pull the trigger, but I thought about it. Back to the feature match of the century. And it's decent. As long as, you know, they don't have a Ren and Six. It means his hand's garbage. <laughs> they will 100% have a Ren and Six. Oh, my dude. I think Nyssa can only get Solitude, is that right? You're not an elf, you're not an elf, you're not an elf, you're not an elf. You're a bird. You're an elf, but you're Nyssa. And it only gets Solitude or Nyssa. That'd have been worth it. I've never connected with this card before. I don't think I want that. I was wrong to play Nissa. No, I have it over Nissa, and I said you're an elf. I said you're an elf, but you're Nissa. I just main phase this because I might hit a Nissa. All right. Um, let's take it back. Noble hierarch. Go back. Give her. I'll get back to give her. So they have an endurance, that's why. We just pass. Yeah, the revolt value. Insane. Why is it innkeeper in this deck, by the way? I doesn't I don't feel like innkeeper's that good. I think my wayfinder rude I needed that. I don't think it I guess it's worth it. Get him ready, good rallyer. Get him. All right, well, at least they didn't have a fetch. Very good for us. Ooh, piece of cocoa. I guess I should probably crack this first. Am I lying? I might be lying. Who knows? Ah, uh, rearrange the bottom five. My favorite kind of cocoa. Fury? Itania. Uh oh. I guess I have to pitch endurance. Well, I need to hit revolt, right? So I drew a card. Last zone. I wonder if we'll take the six. We'll block him with titanium. Alright. Stack needs more tireless tracker. I'm not getting enough value right now. JFRG, thank you for the follow. Omnath, well, if they draw a fetch land, I'm in trouble. I take up this blast zone. I can take it up to four, though. I can only take it up to three. If I take it up to three. I could pop it and then give solitude protection from white, I guess. I won the game. I'm just giving solitude protection from green. That probably would have been smarter. 
Because I was going to pop the blast on it anyways. Kill the Nissa. Didn't make a difference. This is a song from a Link to the Past. That's where it's from. I think I lead on the Hierarch. I don't know. It might be bad in the Brandon Six. Maybe I should let on the Giver of Runes instead. Seems like they do have Brandon Six. They yeah, somehow outvalued the four color deck. That's because they didn't have Brandon Two. But now they're going to have Brandon Two and murder me. Ugh. Back in my day, we got to play Mana Dorks in Modern. Times have changed. Seems like a really aggressive binding. But it's just a giver. Like, it isn't even that good. I get to pop the binding and then they ping it with Ren. Maybe neither Reliquary is a better play. Oh, Knight would have gotten pending. I just figured they had removal for night, right? Makes the most sense. Oh, I still have removal for night. Buy back fetch, play fetch, crack fetch. Solitude. All right. Remember why I never touched a mana dork again in modern. Sometimes it's always nice to be reminded of that. Fifty-two minutes. Bob, Bob, hurry up! Where did the Bing Bong come from? It sounds like Family Guy's Mister Washi Washi. It's not. It's from uh that New York video. The like Long Island. You just Google it. It should come up like pretty quickly. I think it's living in probably. These night of bottoms are looking very impressive. Our playing is rhinos, that's what it is. Our kind of a mirror needs to carry. And not get furied. Now they're working. They are relatively quiet. They're about as loud as the music. Get a fury. Yeah, people that are on like not headphones have a hard time hearing the music for sure. If you're on headphones, you could easily hear the music. No, neither Reliquary hasn't done anything. Usually you can hear fine. It's as loud as it always is. Just really crooning it right now. <laughs> yeah. You're not supposed to solitude one of these. Oh, we're gonna die. Alright. I think nine of them is probably awful in this matchup. They might have like Blood Moon post board. Why is Prosper Keeper in this deck? So when you have to resolve Hollow So you have to resolve Hollow Moonlight on the stack when you cast nominable creativity, yeah. There's the thumbnail. This deck is most certainly not going on YouTube. 
Tech is uh, looking like an O2 drop. Pretty thing to follow. How do you think of the follow as well? We've been playing more modern recently, and it's baffling to me how they allow scam to exist as a deck. The games are so unenjoyable. Excuse me, unenjoyable. I think the same could be said about a lot of decks in the format. Like, I think the games against Rhinos are very unenjoyable most of the time. Games against Living End are also very unenjoyable. So while that may be true, I think that's the case for a lot of decks in the format. We're supposed to enjoy modern? <laughs> I'm not here to enjoy modern. Comes rhinos. Like, I don't think Hammer is a particularly interesting deck to play against either when they just, like, bonk you on turn three. Your, line, your hand just, like, lines up poorly against theirs, and they just, like, all right, 2020, attack you, and you're just, like, guess I'll die. You gotta establish a baseline, right? Like, at what point do you feel like decks are unenjoyable to play against? Where do you draw the line? I probably should have Cocoed in response, huh? Kind of forgot I could hit Archon. That was a punt. Thank you, Tandy. I was about to do it for myself. And every format has decks that aren't fun to play against. Like, I don't think it's very fun when I play against Mono Green and they go turn one, Elf, turn two, Old Growth, turn three, Karn or Kiora or BS, Cavalier, whatever, Storm. Like, I just, it's not enjoyable for me. You just gotta pick your poison. Like, what are you willing to be tolerable and okay with losing against, right? What's not gonna make you tilt off the face of the planet? Games of modern are over too fast. Well, maybe modern's not the format for you then. <laughs> well, like, I don't know. Because if you play Legacy, games end on turn one or two, right? I mean, I think games, I can't even cast another spell. Floating man was kind of pointless. Because I think, like, I don't know, I've played a Games of Pioneer where the game's over on turn three because they grease fanged me, right? I think the same could be said about that. Like, they just go turn two, Grizzly Salvage, turn three, Grease Fang, Parhelion, and kill me. I think those games are over pretty fast. Like, there's decks that have nut draws that are going to kill you pretty much no matter what you do. And there's not that much you could do about it. I could have, I could have attacked here, but was the red green deck? Ah, uh, it's okay. This game's like Grease Fang, but on turn one, I disagree. Cause most of the time, I say most of the time. Sometimes when you get scammed, you can still win the game. When you get hit with by a part Helion, there's no coming back from that. All right, pass the turn. I mean, Scam has some counterplay. Mostly off of the back of other elementals. Like, you can solitude the thing that they're scamming. You can, like, subtlety it. There's counterplay to it. That's just not very prevalent. Plus, sometimes when you get scammed by grief and they take your two cards and they do nothing else, you can just draw out of it, right? You're just like, all right, play my lands. Top deck something good. Bolt the grief or whatever. Like, what deck are you playing? Oh, I should activate this knight. Yeah, Leyline of the Void, Leyline of Sanctity, Veil of Summer. Like, there's counterplay for Scam, especially on the draw. On the play, there's less so. You're not saying it's too good, you're just saying it's unfun. I mean, I can't really argue with you there, because unfun is very subjective, right? Yeah, like, fun is very subjective. 
definitely not too good. Just unfun. I don't know if I put back the Elish Norn or the Solitude. I think I put back the Elish Norn. I would say if you're not having fun playing the format, then maybe just play a different format. I don't know. I don't know what else to say. I mean, do what you gotta do, right? If you gotta test for the Pro Tour, test for the Pro Tour. I know a lot of people that tested for the Pioneer Pro Tour that absolutely despise Pioneer, but they did it anyways. That's what you gotta do. Gotta dig the double knight here. Again, I mistimed my Coco. I should have done it in response to the Violent Outburst, but I was on a tangent. Enjoying modern a lot more when Yorion was legal. Was that because you played four color? Yeah, oops. You need to give me another punt if you're still here. I'm just gonna take it. I'll take 10. Hopefully, my ratchet bomb doesn't get countered. Don't force me. Oh, they didn't force me. Those are coming off next turn, too. Hmm. Oh. I don't think I've ever killed, like, eight rhinos and one ratchet bomb. Kind of nutty. Yeah, now they're an endangered species. Can't believe you've done this. Alright, evidently we can win matches against rhinos. That's it. Oh boy. Oh, maybe they don't kill my mana dork, Copium. And maybe after they decide not to kill my mana dork, they also, worth above, grants me a second land. How many cards from the new set are going to make a big difference for modern? I think little to none. Where were you when I needed you most worth? This is why they fired you. And they killed Wafo. Come on. Alright, one more land. I think the One Ring is going to be okay in, like, the sideboard of Tron to get with Karn. And maybe in Spike's, like, 8 key deck. But other than that, I'm not sure the One Ring is going to do all that much. But I do think the Halfling Mana Dork is pretty good. I think Stern Scolding is a pretty good card. Uh, Sorman's Ransom, which is the 3 mana Factor Fiction, is decent. And the Flame of Anor, if you have a good wizard. I'm pretty low on White Reman. I think White Reman is pretty much strictly worse than Hollowed Moonlight most of the time. If your plan is to bring it in against um, Cascade decks. I lost the Scam Mirror. If 
I get Dramogus Command Endurance is in here. I had a bottom, probably not necessary. Archon of Amiria seems terrible. I'm not really casting one spell a turn. Honestly, I miss Corsets. I thought Corsets were great. Nobody's stopping you from wearing a corset. That's true. Next time a corset is released, I'll wear a corset on stream. What's a corset? I don't even know what that is in terms of clothing. Oh. <laughs> I regret that one. <laughs> I had to look it up. Yeah, I am going to regret that one. You're right. <laughs> Deal. <laughs> Innkeeper. I don't know if I should have attacked with this or not. I give him some of my back problems, it's awesome. I mean, I don't have the best posture. It would probably help improve my posture significantly. Slowly developing gamer posture. Posture check chat. How big is this knight? Big enough. <laughs> oh no, it's clipped. What did you lose to Rip Bozo? I lost to the scam mirror. I'm an inferior scammer. I'm making this command. That's too good. True though, Rip Bozo. I think that's fine. I could have sacrificed Forge Tender, but I don't know if that was even worth it. Probably was. I shouldn't have F6. I think my favorite part about core sets, though, were just the amount of planeswalkers in them. Go get them, Deep Root Wayfinder. Get me that land back. I think they stopped doing them. I don't remember. They stopped, yeah. I remember playing like the Magic games on Steam. The, like Magic 2014 game. I played that on Steam. <laughs> when I first started playing Magic. I even, I went to GameStop and I was like, can I have my promo scavenging ooze that they promised me? And GameStop was like, no, of course not. We're out of scavenging oozes. We ran out of scavenging oozes six months ago. And I was like, oh, okay. But they're like $20 right now. And they're like, that's too bad. Yeah, I was the one with the scavenging ooze. <laughs> I never got that scavenging ooze. Play the world's, <laughs> world's smallest violin for me. I remember you scavenging ooze. Well, I don't think I'm winning this one. What we like to call not even close, baby. All right. How many matches are left? 20. I think we have enough time for a league match, huh? Yeah, that's, that's like minus value. Like, I don't even want this. <laughs> that's like how they trick you. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're getting plus value, but in reality, it's just curling. I've been trying to defoil my entire collection. I just, I can't do it anymore. I can't keep collecting these poor foils. They're being abused. Cut off the presses and into the Pringles can. I lost the scam in the challenge. I don't remember what we lost to for the first round. That was so four rounds ago. Just slide it out of a Pringles can. <laughs> In between some chips. Has nobody made Pringles deck boxes yet? Million dollar idea chat. Whoever decides to follow through with it, I want 50% of your profits for giving you the idea.
<laughs> you should get Pringles to sponsor you. I need to go score to them, right? You want 50% of my profits for you giving me the idea? I would work that out. Your hand won't ever fit. That's so true. Plus, it's like the small little snack packs. The challenge paid actors, pretty consistent money. I do pay my actors well. We'll take one toxic. Fight it, agent. In this economy? In front of my Pringles? I'd like this ghost quarter back. One a ghost quarter. Thank ya. DD stream this morning. He's been around. In the vaguest sense of the turn, mayhaps. But still around. Well, they could kill me here, but they can only cast one spell. If that spell is a scale-up, I'm going to die. If it's not a scale-up, maybe I'll be okay. This no scam? You is correct. I think I'm going to with these three. Oh yes, I would love to use Deep Root Wayfinder. Miss, uh, you're going to the graveyard. I like this Wayfinder card. Pretty neat. It's a scam to watch this. Yeah. This deck's not very good. That's okay. Trying its best. Not everybody can be playing Red and Six, you know? Sometimes you have to be the victim of Red and Six. Holy tie bar Stan. Yeah, exactly. You can't always be the best, but you can always try your best. If it looks like a Pioneer deck, how comes it's getting wins in Modern, baby? Nah, it's not a good deck. That's okay. It just looks sweet, and it was in the 5 O's, so we decided to jam it. There are two wolves inside of you. One of them says play Ren and Six, the other one says play Birds of Paradise. I don't think I bored anything in. I guess I take like the Dramokas command. Chad, did you see the new Birds of Paradise art? Birds of Paradise, Lord of the Rings. This is my favorite Birds of Paradise art now. Why don't I open up a folder? Whatever. Look at how cool it looks. Such a good bird. The noise of bubbling waters come up from the foaming riverbed. Birds were singing, and a wholesome peace lay on the land. I don't know if anything beats Birds of Pocket Ice, though. My current favorite one is... One I have an emote of. This one. Because it looks like he's pogging. So I call it Birds of Pocket Dice. I've made mana once or twice, tapping all my birds of paradise. Yep. Shaper Sanctuary is going to be, like, kind of hard to beat. Yeah, huh? Bracken. Mighton. Drawn. Luckily, no protection spell. Night of Autumn. 
when people submit their cover letter or CV, sorry, for job offers, they should include their favorite bull and counterspell art. I agree. Favorite bull, Hadouken. Favorite counterspell, the guy that's fizzling like this. He's like, I think that's the OG one. That finger gun counterspell. He's like, what's up, buddy? How's my e buddy? I faced my new profile pic. Slowest beast in the world. We're gonna end up 2 2 with this deck, aren't we? Or 3 2. As every mediocre modern deck should end up. Mm hmm. Art thou company collected? They are collected. You have to learn Lord of the Rings cards. They all suck. They scooped. Can't scoop opponent. I wasn't done. I never finished that game. You're an adult and you enjoy Pikmin. You and my brother both. I watched my brother play all the Pikmin games. He just absolutely loves them. I do have a brother. He is 8 years older than me, so he is 32. I'm young. It's like a snapshot from an alternate dimension. Turn 1 Noble Hierarch. Imagine you show this hand to a small Victorian child. They'd probably feel right at home. My brother plays Yu-Gi-Oh. It was actually how I got into Yu-Gi-Oh and card games in general. Stony. I got him to play Magic a few times, and he went to F&M back in the Jun Monsters standard, and he was like, "I need a deck to play," so I gave him Jun Monsters. He uh he played against some dude that was like a a grinder, and the dude was like, "I've been playing Magic for like." seven years and i would beat everybody blah 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 blah. and my brother's like all right cool i just started playing today and then my brother too owed him and he was so upset <laughs> they thought it was so upset uh so funny oh here comes the cauldra hot cauldra renegade rally or get back ghost quarter i guess what we call doing it if all you can brag about is how long you played the game, yeah, maybe you shouldn't brag at all. <laughs> Imagine just like sitting across from somebody, they're like, hey, I just started playing today. Yeah, my brother gave me a deck. Good luck, have fun. Too old. It's like my brother's good at card games, he just didn't know how to play Magic very well. He just like didn't understand the rules of Magic that precisely. But I liked, I gave him the rundown beforehand. I was like, here's Jun Monsters. It's kind of hard to mess up with this deck. You just like play turn one elf, turn two Caryated, turn three Pelucranos. And he's like, all right, I think I've lost this game. Ted needs Gavity Township. Uh, I've lost this game. Maybe Archon will get him. Look at that. Archon putting in the work. Tap land. Fiest dream to ever do it. Might be the worst blast zone I've ever seen against Hammer. Oh, I guess I'm going to block and pump it by two. Getting absolutely scammed today in the challenge. Speaking of which, we won. We won. All right. I am now bored, baby. <laughs> oh no! I didn't pop up my blast zone. No. Ah, oh, what a punt. Basura, thank you for, for the tier one. Welcome back for the nine months.
welcome to the world also, because you are now newly born. Nope, I'm not pumping up my blast zone. That's fine. What a punt. I have to Coco. I guess I have Knight of Autumn to draw to. Yeah, we're playing in between rounds for fun. Well, there's Knight of Autumn. Did we have fun this match? I think so. You gotta put a hammer into play. This germ is the main of my existence. I'd be very surprised if we win this game. Although it's not... Looking impossible. I do have the blast zone to pop on one since I forgot to up it a couple turns ago. Hold up, we might win this game. That's fine. You can hijack the chat. I only need you guys for guess the game anyways. Sure. The white counterbalance control deck that got a 5 0? No, but I want to play it. <laughs> Do you have a link for it? it? Sounds mediocre. And like it's right up my alley. Yeah, you can post it. Absolutely. Rack the fetch. I was getting another fetch. I guess I'm gonna get another fetch. Might as well. Still trying to cast the Solitude. Look at how big this Nine of the Reliquary is. What a chunker. Casual 8-8. Eight, eight. I should have done prediction for this league. So if we end up 3-2. Oh, no Coral Helm, you're right. I miss Coral Helm. Miracles. Yeah, hold up. Wait, this is a sick list. Teferi, Jachache, Wandering Emperor, Teferi, Counterspell, Cryptic Command, Terminus, Counterbalance, Open of the Sea Search for Escanta. This looks awful. I'm going to play it on Monday. <laughs> You versus the knight they told you not to worry about. You had Gideon Jura in your list. Just when you thought you couldn't get any worse. You put Gideon Jura in there. You went 4-1. Probably. Uh, Collector Oof in... Collector Oof is such a nombo with Ratchet Bomb though. Uh, whatever. I'm gonna bring them both in. Yeah, Elspeth 6. Hmm, make some tokens. I guess Giver's a good blocker. Or provides me with good blockers. Get this Nissa out of here. Not Elspeth. Damn. Excluding the best girl. Yeah, our collector oof ratchet bomb plan. It's all coming together. Our deck's so bad. <laughs> the more I look at it, the more I'm like, oh man. What did I register? Ornithopter. Paradise Mantle. Equip. You didn't need a second to come to that conclusion. <laughs> well, you know, like, I started off and I was like, not nah, so bad. 
like all my mana dorks pinged by Brandon Six, and I was like, all right, maybe a little bad. But, you know, the more you look at it, the more nonbos it has. If I play Knight of the Relic, I'm going to die. So, I think I'm just playing a Noble instead. Please play a combo. Our combo is Knight of the Reliquary plus Fetchland. What better combo do you need? I'm pretty sure Knight's worth dying to get into play. <laughs> That's such a great way to put it. Yeah. You're right. Knight is worth dying for. Renegade Rallyer, Safi, and Voyager Staff. Isn't Voyager Staff only in Legacy? I really want to play that in Legacy. I don't feel like I do. Yeah, the opponent's like, I'm out of practice after I solitude the Pustin Paladin. Is Voyager Staff not the card I'm thinking of? Oh, that's Voyager Staff. I was thinking of uh, the Legacy Staff, right? What's it called? Staff of the Storytelling. That's what I was thinking of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My bad. I was thinking of Staff of the Storytelling. I think I'm blowing up the hammer, probably. And find out for Urza Saga, you're right. Why is Flood just doing the most expensive fetch line on MTGO? I don't know. I think Polluted Delta and Flooded Strand have always been like the most expensive fetch lands. I guess that's not true because Scalding Tarn, Once Upon a Time, and Misty Rainforest are both really expensive too. Was this pile bad? <laughs> bad is the best way I can describe it. I'm gonna need that collector oof. La Bomba? They're all blue. Yeah, all the blue fetch lands are the most expensive ones. That you're right about. Very true. Yep, take the damage. La Bomba not looking so good here. So I think I'm going to have to pop the bomb on one. I have to block pop bomb. I'm just dead to this thing then. Yeah, I don't think there's any getting out of it. Even if I kill the zeros, like, yeah, I'm not in a good spot, right? I just had the shadow spear over time. Yeah, it would have been four less damage, I guess. I'm just dead to them equipping Nettle Sist over to Ornithopter. Yeah, it's going to get me. Cool. Yeah, I should kill the zeros, you're right. Shrinks the nettle cyst, and then I actually have a shot of drawing something else. That's Archon's technically good against them. And is about as mediocre as it gets. Maybe we can get them with this attack. Dang, didn't get him with the attack. Probably still put a counter on this and make him sack. I should have done this before damage. Wait, no, I did this wrong. Target player, plus one, plus one. Target player, sacrifice and enchantment. You sacrifice and enchantment, plus one, plus one here. Should have done this after blocks. Could have gotten an extra point of damage. Why is my, why is the Mem Knight so smushed? I'll stretch you, Mem Knight. There you go. Now you're back to normal. Yeah, the Lord of the Rings set was quite disappointing. But I guess they all can't be bangers, right? That squished. Poor little guy. What's up, generic? Ooh.
Get him collect roof. I'm going to ghost quarter them. They're ready to get rally rear. Get back the ghost quarter. Not quite upkeep Coco time, but soon. Should I add the Safi Milk combo? Drew? Actually, no, you made a Bob, so I can't be swindled in anything else you make. Not happening again. They play Mono Red Forehead. Alright, well, that deck's actually like decent, though. But you also didn't make that deck, so. This is the best collector roof of all time. It's time for Coco. Well, don't mind if I do pop the hammer. We made one additional. <laughs> Guys, never played Vintage? Vintage is a terrible format. Can't change my mind about that. Vintage Cube is good. Vintage. Vintage is one of the formats of all time. It's fun in small doses, I agree. Anything more than one game, too much for me. It's true. You're 100% correct that Coco is a good spell played in awful decks. Maybe it's just an awful spell, because it whiffs half the time, so... Maybe it's just a bad spell. On guard opponent. Can't believe Gavney Township's gonna win me this game. Of all the ways to win a game, yeah, it was a house in 2016 Modern. Quite literally a house. The protective wards of the church have weakened, and no one can tell us why. It's time to look to our own defenses. And the church was weakened when the schism of Modern Horizons 2 came upon us. Literally a house. I'm pretty sure it was the Gavity Township. Alright, got the 3-2 with mediocre green and white pile. Perfect timing. Have you peaked? Bing bong, bing bong, bing bing bong. Have you peaked? You're a third-rate duelist. I can't take it anymore. <laughs>